I'm plugging the machine. It's over. I can't wait to blow the flame, flame blanket on my Speaking show. Speaking of the Giants, back here with Bart Scott, the guy having all the fun right now. The Giants and Panthers served up a whole lot of Odell Beckham Jr., the good, bad, and ugly. Before the game, he was critical of Eli and the Giants' play calling during the game. He did Eli's job. He saw that touchdown to Saquon Barkley, longest pass play for the Giants all season in the fourth quarter. First touchdown catch, Eli to Odell. Pulls the Giants within three, less than two minutes to go. Saquon scores on a 15-yard pass, and this was all but over. Oh, hold on, because Graham Gano said, oh, I can use this. From 63 yards out at the buzzer, Panthers win 33-31 after the game. A heated head coach, Pat Sherma, addressed the Odell situation. Listen, I'm going to answer all the drama questions right now, and I'm going to go back to what I said. All right? I addressed it with Odell. I addressed it with our team. I publicly declared that I didn't agree with his comments. And I asked anybody that was interested, if they wanted clarification, go to Odell, because he's a big man. Now, I'm not going to give the public a pound of flesh on this, right? That would make me small, not strong. And these are the kind of things, in my opinion, when you have the locker room that we have, that will help galvanize them, because the locker room took care of it. And that's all I'm saying on it. Finito. I'm trying to be a leader. This is a position that I've never been in. I've, I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to. I'm learning on the way, so I'm on the fly. Um, but I'm, I'm proud of where we went today. This, we, we gave it all. We came against adversity, calls here and there, uh, and you know we, we can never rely on the refs to, to win the game, but there was calls here and there that uh, were questionable or this and that, and we kept fighting. We kept fighting. We kept fighting. And um, that's all I could ask for. Ladies and gentlemen, Bart Scott doesn't often take notes. He brings this gigantic iPad out, and then he types he it into things. He wrote notes for the first time during that segment, and your reaction was priceless, so please tell the audience what was going through your head. Let me... Let me fan the flames. I hate Give some flames. <laughs> Pat Shermer was big He's man lucky, yesterday. Big man. I held him accountable. Ain't nobody held Odell accountable since he been there. That's the problem. They should have nipped this in the bud when he was a rookie over there making love to the net or whatever the hell he was doing <laughs> and urinating on the ground, allegedly. Yeah. You know, like, come on, man. Like, I'm trying to be a leader. I'm learning on the fly. I put right here, Chris Carter School of Leadership. You need to pull this dude aside. I know you got Robbie Anderson in check, but somebody need to hold this, put this dude in check. He ain't answer my calls. How no do you more. do I don't know, that? man. Too much of that sofa soaking in for that head and shoulders, man, damaging his brain cells. <laughs> You're killing me, Petey. Hold on. Since evidently Odell's going to get fried today on every oh, show on get every network, let me ask you this. Did it, did it appear that, that well, his pregame comments hurt the Giants? Yeah. How? Because, let me tell you something, if you want to be a leader, now you got to address and fix all these relationships. Now, it's, it's great if you win, but now you're lost by a 63-yard field goal. The same thing that ruined their season last year, remember, a it was a loss, it was a loss the after Eagles. the Philadelphia Eagles. You're 1-4. Now you're pointing fingers. Now you got guys that are going to play good soldier, but in the backside, they're like, I hate this dude. This dude is one of these, he's a selfish eye guy. Whatever you are, money makes you more of it. And he is a self-absorbed baby. Hold on. I listened to that interview. He's talking about, oh, look at these other guys and what I should be getting. Me, me, me. I broke records, but I did this, but. So how can the offense be that bad and you being out schemed if you're breaking records? Throwing your quarterback under the bus. You know what the hell you signed up for? You knew Eli, they they, they bought into Eli. You, could have you know, you'd have had, yeah, you'd have Deshaun Watson tell, say, say I'm going to the market. Go to the market if you want to, you know, be around quarterbacks that can extend plays. You can play playground football. You 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 made your bed. You got to lie in it. And you wanted that cash, money, homie. And and Bart, you know this. If you're going to be a leader, you can't tell the truth. That's what leaders do. People say, "Oh man, leaders." That's what they. Politicians they, like they, us every day. Well, well, those are those aren't the best leaders in the best examples. <laughs> but I wasn't talking about but you know, when you're in a team sport, about about <laughs> you can't tell the truth. You, we can talk to each other in the truth behind, but when we go out to the media, we're going to be like the family's intact. It's no, it's no different than your family. Like my mom would tell you, man, we can argue like cats and dogs. I better not hear about any of our family business out in the streets. And that's the way an NFL team is. That's the way locker rooms are. And when you're playing team sports, you can't be an individual. The one of the things that surprised me about that was Odell's been an elite athlete at every level he's been at. He said, I've never been a leader 
Hmm. He said I've never been or I'm trying to learn how. He said I'm to learning, on the, I'm learning yeah. on the fly. He so, said I've never. So that means he's never been. No, no. He over said I've never <laughs> been put in this position. Even at LSU, he wasn't a leader. Jarvis Landry was more of a leader. We saw Jarvis Landry uh -huh. hard knocks. You hear that stuff that he was saying? Yeah. Th those are leadership things. Everyone is not meant to be a leader. Even if he's your best player, that doesn't mean he's the leader. Okay, I get all of it. But the, and, and the Eli comments he shouldn't have said, I understand that. That because even though it's honest, even though it's accurate, there is no win there. But the, this, when people say he should have helped, kept it behind closed doors, from what I understand, he tried that route. Uh, it that. doesn't work though, Nick. You're still in team sports. You got to keep. You well, think all week, those years I had all, wait, wait, wait a second. Sorry, let me Do you that. think all those years when I had all those bad quarterbacks, when I made them eight Pro Bowls, I think I had eight different quarterbacks playing. Do you think that was all fun and games? No. Denny Green used to tell me because I used to go off. I used to have a tantrum all over the field. I used to do Odell Beckham did 20 years ago. So I know I'm an expert in making yourself look like a fool. And, and I, I know, looking back on it, man, that was not a good look. I wish that I would have said, man, I said some things. I threw our team under the bus when I tried to break the NFL record. We lost the play. Uh, we lost the game against the Bengals the last game to go to the playoff, and I wasn't even concerned about the playoff. I was concerned about breaking the NFL record. So I know I've been there. I've been selfish, but I've been a leader at every level, and I did make mistakes as a leader, but I corrected those mistakes. So, but here, so listen, obviously you have like real lived experience of doing and living what Odell's going through and making some of the same mistakes. The point that I'm making is this. He was, all of that comment was about the offense and the offense needing to do this, the offense needing to do that. I don't know how we can sit here on the day after the offense scores the most points they've scored in two and a half years. It wasn't and because they of him. Well, you know no, 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 I know that it wasn't because of him. Just real quick. But we can't say it hurt the offense. We can't say it, it hurts hurt. that team. It's going to hurt it the hurts team in the, the long run. run. And forget, what, what, look at your resume. Look at the things you've done before. Boat trip. But, oh, come on. Like, you, have you have you done anything positive as being a leader? Yesterday it got so bad, you know that Odell, he's supposed to be leading Sterling Shepard. Sterling Shepard decides that he wants to complain. He wants to lift up the garbage can and dump it over. Attitude Who's trying to tell Odell is? Isn't that a good thing that Odell No, trying... because he saw Odell do it. So Odell's saying, no, don't do what I did. No, no, do, do opposite. No, no, let me do the same thing because no one said anything to you when you were doing it. So you can't lead that way when you've already showed yourself to be a bad example in front of your teammates. Attitude reflects leadership. Tell me, what, tell me, you keep bringing up teammates. What, what happens in the locker room when someone, when, when Snacks fracture. or anyone reads some of these comments? Well, he's the apple male there, and he's, he's got the job security. He's not going anywhere. Eli's never been the type of leader that'll pull a guy to the side and hold them accountable. You know, so, so now what is he going to do? So now Eli's like, man, Which like, this, this, this is how you, this a bunch of guys yeah. lying. Yep. They're trying to protect them. They're like, oh, no, we don't have any problems. It's going to fracture. No, no, it didn't, no, no, it didn't happen. But behind that? Their real feelings are they are affected, and there's nothing they can do. They're powerless. The coach said, oh, the locker room handled it. You can handle it. That dude got guaranteed money. But let me ask you guys this question, because when you're talking about you, you, you dealt with this type of frustration and you kept it behind closed doors, I would imagine there were times that Jake Reed or Robert Smith or whomever else on offense was frustrated like you were. Like, what if the guys in the locker room, aside from Eli, agree with Odell? That, it, that, don't that, that, it don't matter. It don't matter. You still don't say it. Okay, that's, that's fine. That, you never, ever tell the truth. All See, right. this that's is part of our bond, and that's what we're going to go down. We're going to the grave with this. No one is going to know the truth. Like, it's no different than we started developing this team. We are a lot better than we were last year, and you guys know there were segments last year that you wanted to scream, pull your hair out, but you didn't go and tell no one. Yep. All right? You wouldn't let nobody know that. You wouldn't let that people on the TV see that. Why? Because you're on the dang on team now, and the team becomes more important than your individual feelings. What are you knocking about? I'm not because real men go address people face to face. You don't be passive aggressive through the media. You don't you don't air your dirty lines out with the media. You got a problem with the offense? You go knock on the door. You have a man to man with the head coach. Like, yo, I, I'm not being you. We, we got to figure some things up. Happen. It didn't happen. I, I, hold on. Because they wouldn't be shocked by the comments. No, 
Well, you can hold on a second. You, you... I'm not going to give him credit for that, Nick. Yeah. And you shouldn't either. That's passive aggressive. He's being passive aggressive. Is Eli the part of the problem? <laughs> well, meanwhile... Tell me, Wheezy. Come on, man. Get the hell out of here, bro. <laughs> Be a man, then. Drop, the, drop him and say something. The you got New York Giants say? are suddenly one in four and appear to be fractured. Is it is it because of Odell? Would you point to Odell I mean, he, he didn't help it out. You know, they could have been fractured. You know, listen, you, I would love to have a list with Chris about who played with the worst quarterbacks. You know what I mean? I think my list is pretty good, too. Yeah. I've been on elite defensive teams. Right. Super Bowl, worthy defensive teams. How many times, how many times teams. they put that mic in your face and you just flat lie? Hey, listen, I just do my job, Holmes. I don't farm other people's land. We over here doing what we got to do. If they don't score, they don't win. Okay, that's all fair. To answer your question, though, if we're talking about reasons the Giants are one and four, slices of the pie, Odell might be the smallest slice. Now, moving forward, maybe he's a big part of the problem. But you can't point to a single game, including yesterday, where Odell wasn't a part of the solution as opposed to a part of the problem. Nice turnover. What? He did. He had Two. it on the punt Two return. Up. Well, one four turnover, down. one four drop. Down. One turnover, you drop, one drop. If you drop the ball on fourth down, you don't convert. Who gets the ball, Bart? Okay, they're two biggest plays of the game. Who smartest, made them? man, but I think the other team. Okay, and they're two biggest plays of the Can game. I, the them? I mean, we're not... yeah, but the offensive coordinator did call them. Absolutely. Right? Okay, so it, it, this is the thing, Nick. If you're going to play team sports, regardless if you like the players or not, there are certain rules that you got to play by. And if he decides not, then that locker room will be fragmented. They will have problems. Bart and I, we know this because we have said enough dumb things. Oh yeah. All right. We said enough dumb things and apologized about them because we realized after the fact. I just got in my ear. Screw the commercials. We go. We roll. We roll. We roll. I just got in my ear. Speaking of dumb things, they do pay. All right, stick around. Coming up, how worried should the Eagles be after yet another loss? That's next up, first things first. Bart, you know there ain't no good corner. No, there ain't no good corner, man. And people will be coming for you on that corner. This is who Deontay wants to be when he grows up. You're just like Deontay. I always know who...